I'm Caitlin McDaniel here with Gaiety on the red carpet for Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. This movie has a star-studded cast with Daniel Craig, Janelle Monet, Kate Hudson, so stay tuned for exclusive coverage. I'd love to just start off talking about, I mean, how did you first get involved in the Knives Out series? You know, uh, Ryan hired me for his first movie, Brick, and he has not been able to get rid of me since. And I just keep showing up and, and hoping uh, he'll give me a job. I love that. Can you tell me just a little bit about your character and what people can expect from that? You know, I'm not sure if I could tell you a lot about the character quite yet, but I can say that he's quite different from... Uh, from the first movie okay there's definitely I don't know if you've seen it but oh you have yeah so it's 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 a bit of a departure and yet art was still imitating life you know we were just coming out of you know lockdown and I hadn't cut my hair in a while I hadn't gone to the gym in a while but all that was just perfect for this role and and that is something I can never truly repay Ryan for as the, the greatest gift. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And this is, you know, a huge a whodunit, a mystery. What do you think makes a great mystery? I think what makes a great mystery um, is how. Uh, not even why and uh, and not even not even not even who. But but how you know and and that's something that uh, that I think these movies uh, really really try to put emphasis on um, and that's what keeps us watching keeps us excited. Absolutely, I love the reveal. You know when you finally see what went down. The reveal and then the other reveal and then the other reveal. Exactly. I mean, you know, it just yeah. doesn't stop. Yeah. And you got to know this cast a little bit. I wanted to know who would you confide in if you had a secret. Who do you think could keep it the best? Ooh, I'm looking over at the uh, wall here. Uh, mm. Leslie. 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 Leslie, because Leslie's like, Leslie's got like dad vibes. You know, I feel like we kind of are like on a dad level. Like there's like a, there's like a dad level there that I feel like I could, uh, I could tell him some secrets and he'd keep them. Not your first mystery. So I wanted to ask what brought you back to this genre? A call from Ryan Johnson, the chance to work with Daniel Craig, you know, one of the biggest movie stars in the business, and I'm so glad I did. I learned so much. I had so much fun. Uh, the worst of the pandemic was only just in our rear view, you know, so we just showed up to Greece with such a profound sense of gratitude, and I think the joy and gratitude shows up on the screen. I certainly hope it does. It, it's an amazing movie. I really love everything that the cast brought. And I hear that you got all got very close on set, but I wanted to know what was a favorite moment from that time? Uh, I celebrated a big birthday over there and uh, the cast threw me a surprise party and it was very meaningful. I'm Ron Bergman, producer of Glass Onion. Amazing. And I know that this is a whodunit movie and there's so many of those out there, but you still want to always catch the audience on their toes. So how did you guys approach that aspect of this? Well, it's Ryan Johnson. He is never going to do, he's never going to repeat what he did before because there's no point of making the movie. So the whole thing is to challenge himself. And then if he does and we decide to go for it, hopefully we challenge the audience. And I think he came up with a conceit and a structure that's completely different than the other movies. And uh, I think it's fun, yeah. And obviously we can't have any spoilers, but is there any particular part you're really excited to see audiences react to? Uh, I just want to see, you know, we've screened the movie everywhere in the world and it's always fun to see where people laugh how they react to certain things. You know, the movie plays different in different places around the country or around the world. So I just look at, I just love watching it again. I'm curious to see what it's gonna be like today. We've never actually played it in LA uh, yet in a festival. I mean, in a, in a big screening. So we'll be curious to see what it's like. And working with this amazing cast and just building this story, what was the best takeaway from this whole experience? Like the first movie, this one also, the cast really became best friends off on the set and off the set. They hung, they were hanging, playing mafia games, you know, every Friday night. 
they were cheering for each one when somebody was doing a take somebody else was cheering for them on the other side it was really great and you can see even now throughout the process how much fun they're having with each other so you know we are so far we are two out of two hopefully we'll repeat on the third one Absolutely, and I love hearing about all the closeness and how everyone really bonded together. But I know that this is a mystery and there can be backstabbing in the, you know, the storyline. So I wanted to ask, who do you think out of the cast would be the best liar? Kate Hudson. Okay. I'm talking about this role, I feel like it's very challenging. There's a lot of components to it. Did you have any setbacks when you were accepting it? No. It was like, this is what we're doing. This is better than me sitting on my couch trying to figure out, you know, my next move, right? Um, we were all like deep in the pandemic and to be invited to go to Greece. I mean, going to Greece was so terrible. The food, eh, eh. No, like no complaints. I showed up. I was as professional as I absolutely could be. I mean, it was kind of hard because everybody was having so much fun laughing at Catherine and Kate. And <laughs> I mean, we had a really good time. We really hung out. We really like the bonding that we had off screen. I think it showed up on screen. You know, it was like, it was super important for us to connect and we couldn't get sick. So we had to stay together. And, and that, that time was like well spent. My name is Nathan Johnson. I did the music for Glass Onion. Amazing. And you did the first movie as well. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So when you were first just approaching this project, where was your mind? I mean, did you expect to have a sequel? No, none of us were thinking about when we first started the first one. Um, and so it's just so nice seeing how the fans responded to it. And yeah, getting a chance to keep on doing these, it's, it's kind of the best. So when you started brainstorming how you wanted this one to sound, I heard a little bit about, you know, the tropical sounds and anything like that. But I mean, where, what else components did you bring into this? I mean, we brought harpsichord into this one. We brought some tuned wine glasses into this one and a much bigger orchestra this time. So it, it kind of nods to the first one, but it's really about blowing it open. And it's a mystery, so there's action, there's suspense. What is your favorite scene to kind of get to tackle? I mean, I won't tell you the scene because of spoilers, but there's, a, there's sort of a climactic scene at the end of the movie that was so much fun to get to do. I don't know how familiar you, you are with the cast, but even if you know, you're know you just seeing them, who do you think is the best liar out of everyone here? Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Without throwing anyone yeah, under exactly. the bus. Just, just based on looks, who do you think you you know you could hide your secrets with? Oh, you, oh you, someone, so, see, someone to confide in. Yeah, yeah it doesn't have to be sneaky. I, I would confide in Catherine. Okay. Me too. She, yeah. she, she'll be she'll be able to throw anyone off the scent with a humor bomb. You haven't been on in a Knives Out movie in a minute. Obviously, you're not in this one, but this might bring some nostalgia. How are you feeling? Well, I'm I'm here to support it because I love the people that made it. Absolutely. I mean, it's a it's a great great film. Do you have any advice for someone who's trying to survive a Knives Out movie? I know it's a little late for this cast, but. Yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a feared for a few of them. Um, no. If you're comfortable, I wanted to say I love you, how you speak with your daughter, Ruby, and how you've handled the whole scenario. It's really beautiful to see. Do you have any advice for anyone who has a transgender child? Well, I wouldn't say I have advice because that would mean I'm in some position of great knowledge. I'm really just trying to be open my heart open, my mind open. I'm trying to learn, ask a lot of good questions. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Caitlin McDaniel with Gaiety. This has been Glass Onions Red Carpet and go see the movie on November 23rd.